welcome back. Fubar here. And today we are going to be talking about the ideal base to base setup. In my opinion, this is my opinion. Don't flack me on it. There's a lot of different ways to set up base to base, but I'm going to give you guys a unique retrospective that I think you guys will enjoy because of the current meta. And I always like going against the current meta. I was a, one of the fir first people to start using a helicopter before it became meta. And I went against the tide with the MBT. So now we're going to try going against the tide again with this. Okay. So as you can see right now, I am a field fighter. I am a field support. And I want to state right now, field support and base to base players. You guys are the MBT. If we, without one or the other, your alliance could have, would stand no chance in an L4 event. So both play styles are completely valid. So I want to give you that validation before we get into it. Right now, we're going to start looking at this, right? The very first thing I want to recommend is actually Martyr Infantry. Martyr Infantry will be your tanking unit. They are the most heavily damage resistant unit as the of the infantry tree and because everyone is not running as much rls in higher tier events and rls are one of the least popular units right now to deploy onto battlefield because of how squishy they are they this gives you a very good base like the, this uh, sponge bases with with a unit and take minimal losses and the cool thing about these offers the infantry using the infantry is that you can actually still use your normal base to base setup with this this unit so that means you could use steel fighter with thorn countess thorn countess i'm sorry and you would have no issues the reason why is because of their tactical skill it says officer's troop is not saying officer's tank and this goes for both of these officers. So this is very good for you to know and to deploy. So that will increase your durability to the maximum. And you can even add HP and also blast damage resistance and the skill tabs. And that will also increase the tankiness further. So we already talked about the RL. And it's funny because we're actually going to go back and talk about the RL. We're actually going to, I would recommend running two RLs in this setup. And the reason why is because of its attributes. If you look right down here, it has a fortification damage buff of 350%. Now the Liberty Howitzer only has a 300 and the Modder Howitzer, which I have, I can show, has only a damage, a damage fortification percentage of 250 percent so that means you're going to be doing 100 percent against more fortification damage than a martyr howitzer and also 50 percent more than a liberty howitzer and the great aspect of this is that you can hit the base and then run away and then go back and hit it again and this will give you a hit and run style on base to base a very well, I don't know if he's very well known, but the YouTuber Vanguard has talked about him several times, and his name is Old Chan. He is a, I believe, he's of Asian descent. I'm, I believe that is the correct term, but he uses RLs exclusively for base to base, and does a fantastic job. He runs four of them. I'm not going to recommend that. I'm going to say three of them. The next one I would recommend is an ATG for base defense. And then I would also recommend either an MBT or helicopter or a light tank to fill in the void. You should always have a minimum of two, two artillery units for a base defense. I mean, base to base setup. You can run three, but I wouldn't recommend it because it gets a little sketchy with officers. Now, this is... The only setup I'm going to show, right, like talk about right now, there is other base to base setups, such as running two Liberty Howitzers or running three Liberty Howitzers and an SH unit and then an ATG. There's so many different options and combinations. So we're going to skip that and go straight into 
just this setup. Now, if you do choose an MBT, I would recommend choosing a modern MBT or a modern helicopter for the camp buff. Okay. If you choose to run a third artillery, I would not run a third RL. I would run a modern howitzer. So that way you get that camp buff again. And they're right now, just sitting there, you should have four units for ground that are modern and one for the ATG. Now, if you want to, after this, I would recommend one Air Force unit being modern to two. This way, you have a 6-2 setup or a 5-3 setup, okay? And this makes a very big difference. If you run a 6-2 setup, you will have a 20% camp buff bonus to your base and to your troop damage across the board. And this applies to all troops. And if you're running a 5-3, I believe it's going to be... I'm doing this off math off the top of my head. I believe it's going to be roughly 18% to 17% between there. All right. Now, what I would recommend is the Modern Bomber, Vanguard fi Fighter, and a Modern Fighter. Now, the Modern Fighter is very heavily misunderstood. I would use Polar Phantom and Nagarami on the Modern Fighter. Reason being is because the Modern Fighter is all about survivability and maneuverability. And if you put Polar Phantom, who's all offense, and you put Nagarami, who is all defense, and they're both counter officers, you're going to have very good effects with that and you will be able to dodge attacks and also deal damage and gain a steady defense at the same time it's not meant to engage it's meant to hold the line now for your vanguard fighter i would recommend blade wing and silver comet okay so with that said let's get into the officers for the officers you're going to want to run you can also use for your main focus would be Antonina Shevchenko. And you're going to want to use her with in conjunction of Eye of Providence. And then on your second RL, I would recommend, if you can get it, it's, it's kind of hard, Lady Liberty with Saber of the Nation. Then on your ATG, we would use Argent Flame and Maestro. On your infantry, for when you're doing it base to base, I would recommend Thorn Countess as the aid and Steel Fighter as the lead. And if you choose an MBT as a secondary, I would recommend Guardian of Truth and Whipcracker. If you choose to use a modern heli, I would recommend Valkyrie and Golden Eagle. Now, if you're going to be going offensive with your infantry, which you can, and you want to swap out, I would recommend White Wolf with Lonesome Star. <clears throat> so those are my officer pairing recommendations for that unit setup with both offense and also base to base. So you can feel fight with that and also do damage to base. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. We also have two discords. We have the Warpath Lounge and we also have Fubar's Lounge. Fubar's Lounge is exclusively me and 44 Mag within there and a couple other creators who can also help answer your questions. The Fubar's Lounge is all about the business. And the Warpath Lounge is all about having fun and interacting with as many other people as possible. It's no whole bar content in there. So there is some people who are kind of trollish. So you have been warned and you've been notified about that. So feel free to join either one on your own. So this is Fubar. I got your six. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving and I hope you're all doing well. Peace.